Hello YouTube, this is EN559Fresno, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix your iPhone 3GS version 4.3.4 stuck in recovery mode error 1015. Alright, and uh, you guys probably tried to fix recovery and it gives you like a no successful firmware, 60,000 MS, some error code like that. This is somewhat, it's the only fix available as of now and it's tethered. Meaning that every time you power off your phone, you're going to have to plug it back into your computer and rerun some software. But it's better than not having your phone at all. Alright, so download Red Snow. You're going to need 0 0.9.8 beta 4. And the 4.2.1 firmware file for your... I'm sorry, 4.3.4 firmware file for your device. Links will be in the description for both. Alright, and then just, you know, take Red Snow to your desktop, right click, if you're on Windows 7, then click Properties, Compatibility, run it in Compatibility Mode for XP Source Pack 2, as an administrator, hit Apply, OK, and then open it up, and then hit Yes, and then hit Browse, find the 4.3.4 firmware file, and you know, just double click it successfully identified so now have your iPhone plugged in and everything hit next I know you guys aren't going to be able to see all of it but I'll read out what you need to do oh well here okay see where it says install city yet you need to uncheck that and then go down and check deactivate and hit next. It's going to tell you to have your phone powered off. Now I know since you guys are stuck in recovery mode, your phone just powers on by itself. So it's going to be a little complicated. What you need to do before you need like it's going to be kind of complicated. You got to hold both these uh, the home and the power button when, until the phone powers off, and then you're going to have to quickly hit next, and then start putting your iPhone into DFU mode. So basically, as of right now, you just need to get somehow get your iPhone into DFU mode and then hit next. Uh, so we're going to do that right now and let's get started. So you're going to have to hold both the home and the power button. It's going to power off. Alright, so not powered off. I'm going to hit next quickly. It might power on by itself. That's okay. Alright, hold the power button for 3 seconds. Now hold both the power and the home button for 10 seconds. It's going to power off again. Just keep holding the buttons until Red Snow tells you to let go. Alright, let go of the power button. Continue holding the home button. Alright, so you're going to have to keep holding it until Red Snow tells you to let go. And it changes, you know, like it did for me. If it does that, you can let go. Alright, so until you like waiting for a reboot and all that, just let this stuff download by itself. I don't have my tripod on me, so my camera's kind of going to be moving around, but it'll get the job done. So uploading RAM disk, just, you know, leave it alone, don't touch it. As I say done, you can just hit finish. You leave your phone plugged in and you can see all this writing. Just leave it alone. Leave it plugged in. See, it's gonna you've probably seen that before if you've jailbroken. Just let it finish. Now, note you're not jailbreaking right now. Right now, you're just trying to fix the recovery uh, problem. And if you want to re jailbreak, you're going to have to go back into that same Red Snow, you know, select the firmware. Like, wait till this is finished, and then, you know, you watch, I'll show you, I'll explain. I'll explain as soon as this is done so I make things less complicated.
Alright, just keep uh, keep uh, watching your iPhone. It's going to power off by itself and you're going to see the Apple logo. And it's just going to reboot and you're going to notice that this time you're on the emergency call screen. See, here's the Apple logo. Just give it some time. It's not stuck. This isn't going to take too long. See? Oops. So there's the Apple logo and see there you go. The emergency call screen. See now you got the slider so your phone isn't bricked. Now you have to have an AT&T SIM card to activate it. If you don't, you can get one from a friend or you have to do the next step. So right now, if you have an AT&T SIM card and you know how to jailbreak, you can just, you know, end the video. Just don't forget to click the like button, please. But, uh, for, this is for you guys without an AT&T SIM card and you guys need to unlock and jailbreak. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. You're going to open up Retsna again and then hit yes. And then you're going to have to hit browse over here. And find that 4.3.4 .4 firmware file again. Basically, you're doing the same thing again. And then hit next. And then, see, so you're going to see this install Cydia. You're going to need that. And you're also going to need to hit deactivate with that again. So just do both of those, and you can see all this. You know, so this time you're going to put it into DFE mode, but it's going to be much easier. Because this time you can actually power off your phone. Alright, so wait for the phone to power off, have it plugged in. And, you know, I don't have my tripod on me, like I said, so just listen to what I say. Alright, so you're on that page on Ritz where it says, make sure your device is off and plugged in. You're going to hit next right here and you're going to put your iPhone into DFU mode like we did last time so get ready to hold the power button when you click next alright hold the power button the Apple logo came up now Redstone says hold both the home and the power button and it's going to power off keep holding it until Redstone tells you to release alright so now release the power button but continue holding the home button Alright, so once you know red snow changes, you know you see all this. You can let go. Waiting for a reboot, your phone, you know, screen's gonna light up. And we're gonna go through the same process one more time. If Red Snow by chance happens to crash on you, just uh, open it back up and try again. It's a beta version, so you know, problem, it's a little buggy, but it will get the job done. Alright, so it says done, hit finish. And just like we did, you have to wait for all this stuff to go away. Oops. keep waiting alright it's powering back on I just want to let you guys know this is a tethered jailbreak what that means is every time you power off your phone you're gonna have to go back to red snow do the same thing with the selecting the firmware and then I'll show you what to do with that, alright, so let's just wait for the phone to power on first. Alright, we saw the emergency call screen. Guess it didn't go away. I'm sure it will in a minute. 
usually takes like a minute to go away. If not, I'll open up iTunes. Should have gone away. Alright, so see it's a slide town lock. If it didn't, just do it again, but uh, it should have. And you see City is like this, and it crashes. And you guys are like, oh no, well this is what I was trying to tell you guys, it's a tether jailbreak. So you're going to have to go back into Reds now, again. Hit yes. You know, hit browse again. Find the 4.3.4 firmware file. Hit next. Wait for it again. You know, just wait for all this to go away. All right. So it says, uh, just boot tethered now. You just need to check mark that. And I'm not gonna go through this again, but uh, you just you know hit this. It, uh, if your iPhone screwed up on the activation, it didn't activate. Just do one at a time. So just go back. Just check mark deactivate. Then you know go through the process. Then go back. Hit install Cydia. Go through the process. Once you have this little city, you know, this little white icon, go to Just Boot Tether now. You go through the process again, and now your jailbreak is like ready. You can open up Cydia, install Ultra Snow, and you're gonna have to. The Ultra Snow is gonna unlock your iPhone, and your phone will be unlocked after that. And every time you power off the phone, you restart the phone. You're gonna have to run Red Snow, Just Boot Tether now. Anyways, I hope you liked watching this video and it, it helped you out. And I'll update you guys once the new fix is out. But this is just for you guys who really need your phone back. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you have any suggestions for future videos. Feel free to let me know. Thanks.